Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. Terrell Edmonds is the NFL's Rodney Dangerfield. He gets no respect. I understand that he never lived up to his first round billing. Hey, that was not his choice. That was Pittsburgh's. He's never been or ever will be an all-star. But Edmonds' market last year and potentially this year seems way worse than it should be. The guy is still young, only 26, who has played a ton of football and is coming off a solid season better than what he did in 2021. And yet, he gets no love. I know it's just one of many, many off-season lists, but CBS's Pete Prisco listed him 99th on the top 100 free agents of the offseason. Chris Wormley, with a torn ACL, was 30 spots ahead. Can someone give Edmonds a non-one-year deal? He shouldn't command the moon or stars, but two years, six million does not seem that much for a guy who's going to play a thousand snaps if he starts. The dude barely misses time and functions well as a classic box safety. Now, Edmonds' low market is good news for the Steelers if they want to re-sign him on the cheap, just as they did a week before the draft last year. I just don't know how there isn't at least a little interest in the guy who combines youth and experience in inoffensive play. That's got to be worth more than the bare minimum he's gotten in the love he's been shown. We'll see what happens this offseason, but I'd love to be a fly on the wall around the NFL to figure out why he's such an afterthought. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out the Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.